Hi, my name is Dawn Billingsley. This is Kieran Billingsley. And <laughs> that was Connor Billingsley. <laughs> and we are the Habitat for Humanity family for the Penny Project House. Since the separation and divorce, we've been between um, here and my nieces. And then when I don't have my children, I usually keep myself busy um, visiting friends. So this is uh, the house that my mom lives in that we stay. Um, living room. We've got a kitchen with all of your equipment. <laughs> and disaster area slash packing. This is where me and my boys sleep when, we're, when they're here. And you guys all share the one bedroom? The one bed, they won't let me sleep by myself. <laughs> For the boys, I, I don't think they've really felt settled. You know, they're, they have a home with their father, but here it's Cookham's home. But for me, knowing that I haven't had a home, it's hard. It's hard because we had a home with their father, and now we don't. So. And... A friend of mine mentioned that uh, I would qualify for a Habitat home because just the circumstances that I was in um, didn't enable me to purchase a home the size that I need for, to, you know, house my growing boys. They had said, I may or may not find out before Christmas. The next morning, I met them at the build site, and as I pulled up, I'm thinking, geez, there's lots of vehicles here. Rob started explaining the whole process of my application and all the interviews that I've had with him and how my story had um, really touched him and the board. All I remember is hearing the whole story and how wonderful, you know, we were as a family and how happy Habitat family was to meet us. And he said, Don, welcome home. Lots of things went through my head. Like, is this, like I said, is it real? I can't believe this is happening. And how truly blessed I am. I have a large family. Um, I like to entertain. So when I found out that I had this home, I told everybody at Christmas, I said, Christmas is at my place next year. And I pictured my whole family sitting in that long space, all 30 some of us, with a Christmas tree in the corner mm -hmm. by the window, mm -hmm. and just having Christmas meal and the kids, you know, playing downstairs. Thank you for picking me and my boys and for giving us a forever home. I'd like to say thank you to every volunteer that has put in all the time that they have, even the ones that just swept up or, you know, hauled things in, deliveries, um, to the kind people that had donated all their pennies. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there that don't know about this project, just like I did. I didn't know that I qualified. I didn't know that I could apply. So I think if the word is spread, more people can have homes like this. And happily ever afters.